Welcome to the next level of mobility. That's when the streets are not needed anymore. We are here at the booth of Autobahn. Welcome at Green Tech Festival. Thank you very much for having us. You were just founded last year, but you're already here at the Green Tech. Uh, what you were looking forward most? Well, I got in touch with Marco last year at the Bits and Pretzels, and he was telling me about the Green Tech Festival. And what I like most about it is the way the Green Tech Festival is inspiring people for sustainability. Um, this whole thing is positive in every aspect, so it's, it's a lot about celebrating this change and I, I think you got to touch people emotionally really to make them change somehow and that's what I like about it. And on the other hand side, um, the exhibition pairs all that with technology. And that's what we're here for also, it's not only lifestyle, it's technology. So most of the, the booth we're bringing a, a conceptual proof technology-wise what this thing is working and that's what we're excited about. How do you want to touch the humans here? Me? How do you want to touch the people here? With, with our solution, yeah. with what in terms of, of green lifestyle we want to bring to society. We want to bring back much more green into the cities. As you said, we want to get rid of the streets. We want to have green parks in the cities, just like Highline Park in New York. That's what we want to have. What is the idea behind Autobahn? Maybe you can give us a little insight. It's, it's, it's very simple at the end of the day. And this 1 to 10 model shows what we're targeting for. It's going to be an emission-free and fully autonomous transportation system in third dimension, so above today's traffic. And people will travel in such parts, and each of these parts will have an electric drive and can move independently along the track, fully autonomous, as I said. And um, some of the green aspects on this is the electric drive and we're also running purely on renewable energy and we will even produce our own energy as we will incorporate solar cells in the rooftops of our tracks and in the pillars we might incorporate some batteries to store energy to balance batteries all this type of stuff and what is very cool for the people this is going to be a door-to-door -door transportation so what we can do we can lower these mm -hmm. pots right in front of your house and we promise to bring you from unit your door to the exhibition Green Tech in Berlin within two and a half hours at a price of 10 euros. That sounds amazing. It's, it's going to be amazing. So sustainability is already a big thing for you. You are thinking it. And um, what is most important about it for you? Well, personally, I think in, in terms of sustainability, everybody makes a difference. It, it comes down to the point you got to think before you act, right? And that's a daily thing. You got to think about how much waste are you producing? Do I really need to use plastic boxes and all that stuff? And by the way, that has happened back at my place when my wife was banning all the plastics a couple of weeks ago. And, and you, you start to create a more sustainable lifestyle. And then you ask questions like, um, how can we get our oceans clean again? How can we reduce CO2 emissions? All that stuff. So bigger scale questions. And that's what brings you here, ending up like celebrating change at Green Tech Festival. How does your exhibition contribute to your green journey as Autobahn? Autobahn. Well, uh, as I said, the whole electric electrification and low energy consumption thing, you got to be aware like 1.2 liters per 100 kilometers fuel consumption. If I calculate the em energy consumption that we have to fuel equivalent is what we need. That's one tenth of energy consumption of the best um, electric car like a Renault Zoe today. This is like the green aspect plus the green that we bring back to the cities, giving soil back to people in nature in the city. You even brought to the people here at the Green Tech Festival not just the small thing here, you also brought like uh, the inside of the gondola. Could we have exactly. a look? Have a seat. Welcome. Okay. <laughs> What's special about it? Well, if you have a seat, tell me how you feel like traveling in such a... Ah, bus. haven't seen for a while, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, feels comfortable. Yeah, it's a it's a nice way to travel. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's not like sitting in a bus. Exactly. And I mean, in Corona times, the social distancing in terms of when you're traveling on your own is also a good thing. But um, we will have different types of these pots, like a one-seater, a more luxury version that you're sitting in. There will be four-seaters, and then there will be versions that will just do cargo transport, right? But. The basic idea later, of course, you will have a window. There's not going to be a, a screen on the left-hand side, a window that can be tinted if you want to have more privacy. But it's, we want to have you having a good time when you're traveling, like in your living room, right? You will have some entertainment programs going on. Uh, you will have information on your trip, like speed of traveling, estimated time to arrival, all these things that you're used to. And then you can have some, some Xbox gaming. You can do a video conference for your work, whatever you do back home. That's basically a cozy atmosphere 
make you feel good when traveling. How fast does it go? There's like 200 kilometers per hour. 250. 250? 250. Wow, okay, not, yeah. Not, not a single of these parts, but once they combine, right, up to 50, that's what we're targeting for when we go intercity connections, yeah. they will combine their power basically yeah. and, and break the wind easily and accelerate up to 250. That's not an issue. I just saw on the screen from Munich to Berlin in two hours, 30 minutes. Two and a half hours. That's yes. the ambition. Okay. That's fast traveling. And you have to remember it's going to be a door to door transport, right? Yeah. You do not have to change your means of transportation. Do you integrate it in a long and short distance traveling and why? Both. Absolutely both. So. The design of one of these parts basically is more for a city application where you go speeds of 40 to 60 kilometers per hour. But as I said, once you go intercities for longer trips, they're going to combine their power and you reach speeds up to 250 um, kilometers per hour. And one thing is for sure, I mean, the larger our network growth, the more is the benefit for the individual getting point to door to door and for sustainability. I read that you sometimes feel more like a software company. What's behind that? That's hard to understand. I mean, um, everything we talked about, and most of it was about hardware, right? Uh, running gear, a, a part, and tracks, and all that stuff. Um, but that's not what we're going to do like in, in, in midterm. We're going to develop straight to a software company. Um, right now, we have a small team, like two hands full of people, and we have mechanical engineers for all that stuff, and we do have software engineers also for the other things. Um, but the way we work, is software company driven, I would say. I mean, I'm also asking the hardware guys, the mechanical engineers, give me an MVP, show me a rapid prototype, change the short change cycles, all these type of questions. Um, but for the future, like all the hardware stake, we are currently building up strong partnerships with industry leaders. Like there's a lot of companies out there that's their daily work, right? Creating infrastructure. We're partnering with those companies and in a licensing model, they will take responsibility to build the tracks. And we will focus on the software stake, on autonomous driving, on AI intelligent uh, algorithms for routing optimizations, all that type of stuff. And only if we have the right software, we will be able to reach our goals in terms of efficiency, and bring you on time from door to door. And we can scale only with the software. You are based in Munich, testing there. When does it come to reality? Well, it is real <laughs> in Munich in our office. I mean, I'm happy to invite you. You can stop by in our office. We have a round track built one to one scale and we have the entire use case. We have tracks, we have uh, power units, we have gondolas. You can use your app and call a ride. Um, but that's, you were asking for commercial rights much, much more, I guess. And this is going to happen like in 2022 end of or 2023. And isn't it like really difficult to build like these traces then through the whole country? Um, like, is it complicated? Does it take long or what's, what's, what's the idea behind? Personally, yeah. uh, I had a lot of aha effects through in this journey and the last aha effect I had around three months ago maybe when we got in touch with re really players that used to build pillars and scale them and all that stuff. And I can tell you it's much more a piece of cake for them because the dimensions of, of what we're building up is rather small. I mean, this is not like a, um, a railway technology type, heavy and large. It's much smaller and they can build tracks like um, a single machine can do a kilowatt, kilometer per, per week. So scale the machines and there you go. Okay, thanks. Great. Thanks for the innovation. Thank thanks you very for much. the idea and uh, good luck. Thank you. Cool. Welcome.